Hey, Coach Sean here, and what I want to talk with you about today is something that I see a lot, and I completely get it, but, you know, this is there's a reason why most of us fail on our diet. There's a couple top reasons, but this is probably the number one thing, you know, because usually it's not us that is, uh, is failing to follow through. Um, honestly, I find that it's when we let others... Uh, decisions and intentions drive our actions, right? So in this example, it could be, you know, saying, oh, it's just so hard to stay on your diet when you know, your friends want to go out, the out all the time. Well, realistically, like, if your goal is that important to you, you know, to, to manage your food intake and not cheat, you know, once, twice, three times a week, then you'll do it, right? And you won't let others' um, influences change your mind, right? Because I know how hard it is, you know, because I've always had, I've had eating issues since I've been young. Um, and it can be really challenging when we're out with our friends and everyone else is eating crap and it feels right to eat crap. But that's one you gotta practice the discipline the most because that's how you build, you know, the, the mental muscle to follow through and stick with your diet. Because, you know, I've, I'm challenged with that every week. Um, you know, not everyone in my life is, is perfectly healthy and, and eating specific calories, fat, carbs, protein, without, you know, junk, sugar, all the bad stuff added in. So really, it comes down to us in, in, in you know, habitual practice because uh, I, I meet people all the time that say, you know, I'll get started and first two weeks are great and then I just fall off. And usually that's, you know, that's, that's bullshit because people have done harder things for longer than two weeks and, and seen incredible results and reached their goals and weight loss and business, you name it. So when it comes down to, you know, being challenged with a social situation, you just need to dig deep and, and suck it up and, uh, you know, overcome your habit through, the, through, you know, going through the rough essentially, right? So keep this in mind next time you're out with friends, do you really need to eat what's in front of you? If that'd be the bread basket or, you know, the, the crappy restaurant you went to, can you make a better choice, right? Because there's always things we can do in advance in preparation to you know avoid the pitfalls right so that can be having a healthy snack in in our bag or in our pocket so that you know we don't feel dependent on oh well i am kind of hungry i need to eat this crap in front of me so keep that in mind you know when you're frustrated and, sh and struggling with seeing results because diet's almost everything i'm living proof of that um and so are many others but you know it's not easy this is the hardest part staying motivated um, is not permanent, just like bathing, which is why it's recommended daily, right? So use this and, and this thought and, and approach to, um, you know, sticking through and falling through with your food intake, and you'll see incredible success, I can promise it. So think about why you want it, and, you know, practice those repetitions in your mind of, uh, you know, putting yourself in a position where you are tested, and, 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 you know, stay the course, stay the path for yourself. So... Hope you enjoy your Saturday night and you make wise decisions when you're out with your friends and family tonight.